we're gonna go for a ride, the wife and I. Go check out the Ozarks, see the uh, nice fall colors, the pumpkin Beautiful. spice latte colors. <laughs> yes. Maybe grab a coffee and just uh, enjoy this beautiful fall afternoon. It's my kind of ride. All right, I'll give you guys a little brief spin of the bikes that we're both riding today. Um, I'll probably make a video of them and kind of more detail of what they are and stuff, but here's a brief little. So we got the 2014 Dyna Lowrider and then we got the, the wife's iron horse here, the Nightster 1200. So this is what we're going to be riding today. Sometimes it burns, sometimes it hurts, will you say my name? that back there this looks like a secret prison this is a jail cell what the heck Yes, yeah, I'm starving. All I want is all of you, baby, baby. Nothing less than I will do, baby, baby. You take me high, high, high. It's my soul. All right, we got the hot dog and chips. We've got the iced coffee, pumpkin cheesecake, ice cream to go along with the fall ride. Ready to dig in. All right, so we just wanted to make a quick video while we're down here getting our lunch and our iced coffee. And we just wanted to talk real quick about why we got into writing and we want to hear why you guys got into writing. With me, I I had a couple uncles growing up that rode, and so I always saw them coming and going on their Harleys and thought it was super cool. And I knew someday I wanted to ride, but um, no one else in my family did. So I finally took the safety class, got my license. I think it was like 2016 I started riding. That's when I got my first bike, and I got a Kawasaki Ninja 300, which 
honestly was good for a first bike for me because it wasn't all that fast so I could take it easy and go slow and I really like learned how to ride. It took me forever to even get on the freeway which is kind of embarrassing to say but um, I was like ultra safe. So from there I joined a all girls riding group in San Diego and I remember one day when I was there at our meetup spot one of the girls rode up on a Harley and it set off all the car alarms in the vicinity and I was like okay that's cool I think I want a Harley someday too. <laughs> Not too long after that I ended up getting my first Harley which was a 2007 Nightster. It's the one I ride now and I have had so much fun on it. I love it. Like I never looked back. When I was about maybe four or five I grew up riding a uh, ATC 70 um, little three-wheeler. It's pretty much for me, I just started in the dirt. I've been riding dirt bikes my whole life. And then five, six years ago, I decided I wanted to uh, get a Harley. And my dad had an FXR and he was always riding. So I got a 2014 Dyna Lowrider, the one we were, uh, the one I was riding today. And then after that, I got into FXRs and just been riding and working on them. And that's actually how we met, is we were both part of the biker community. We both love to ride, so that's what brought us together. And it's honestly like one of our hands down favorite things to do together, because it's just so much fun. You can just jump on the bikes, hit the road, go wherever you want and just enjoy the beautiful nature and the seasons changing and everything. So yeah, I don't know. I d <laughs> so for me, I grew up riding dirt bikes. I got a little ATC 73 wheeler when I was about five years old, rode that. And then um, my dad and I always used to go to the desert and go riding. And that's kind of what we did. And then he got an FXR, he started riding. And the plan was I was gonna get one and we were gonna ride together. Well, then he passed away before that happened. And so that's kind of what sparked the interest for me to get, you know, riding on the street is, the fact that that was a goal of ours was to ride together, and that never happened, so I ended up getting the 2014 Dyna Lowrider, and uh, just been riding that ever since. Another thing, too, that I love about riding is it's so therapeutic. Like, I feel like a lot of people ride to, you know, it just, there's something about it that, like, clears your mind being on the road, and, and so I feel like in a way, it's actually, like, therapy. It saved a lot of people's lives. Even though it's dangerous, it has saved so many lives too so i don't know we were talking about that earlier we want to know why you guys started writing if if you can relate to that or if you guys have your own reasons we'd love to hear what got you guys into writing too